Hey, what up, y'all? Don't forget, first and foremost, the Anhol Banking course, 2019 version, is kicking off. Click the link in the bio, join the course, ASAP, the first 500 people. $100 off the course, free tote bag, free Anhol Banking t-shirt. Let's get into it. Uh, so today, I'm going to explain to you how the system can destroy a family in less than three minutes. So, all right, let's get into number one, right? What's the best way to destroy a family before it's actually built? Create distrust and dependency. So what I mean by that, right? is if you look at the system in terms of custodial rights between parents, mothers typically get the custodial rights out the gate. Uh, this video is not to have a debate about that, so let's please stick to the point, because I know somebody gonna get gonna go left with it. But anyway, uh, how do you do that? You create this trust. How do you create this trust? You set up a system that gives the mother the bulk of the rights, whether the father is a great one or not. Uh, so off the rip, when babies are born into the world, into a relationship between two adults, they already have this underlying uh, subconscious feeling that shit. If things don't go right, we may have an issue. You know I'm not lying. Some of y'all watch this video right now. You having this issue as we speak or if you had it before. You had a distrust before the baby even got here because you know how this system works in favor of one parent and not the other. Number two, create dependency. So if we talk a child support period, that's the level of dependency. You're going to go to a, a third party, an outside party, bring them in to rectify a monetary situation between you and somebody that made a physical business deal when y'all laid down and created a child. Number two, the mother is typically the base of the family. And that's by default because the system is created that way. If y'all break up, y'all fall apart. Baby typically, unless you, unless you can prove that she's unfit or you have something to write in that states otherwise, children are typically going to go with the mom. Again, let's stick to the script because I know some of y'all going to get lost. How to destroy a family before it's actually built. Step number three, provide her with automatic custodial rights. That's something I just touched on. Again, the distrust. Before the baby even get here, if you and old girl about to break up or y'all on the rocks, you're already thinking like, fuck, it's not going to go in my favor should I decide to leave this house. Literally, a lot of fellas and women are currently in dead-end ass, terrible relationships for the sake of the children because you don't want to have to deal with this system that you guys also love to rely on. Number four, so check this out. This is how I work after that. The father then has to fight. This is going to add, uh, I'm sorry, this is going to lead to stress. He's then going to have to stimulate the same economy that's trying to destroy him. What I mean by that, he may have to get a lawyer. He may have to pay uh, court fees. He may have to go to family court. So not only is this system now causing stress to the family because of some shit they intentionally set up, but now they're getting stimulated because the daddy has to rely on the same motherfuckers who are trying to rip his rights away from him to go get him back. Uh, this also creates separation again. Mother, mother is the base. The child automatically go with the mom. So they go to separation. Pop's not in the house. Number five, less daddy. In a lot of cases, and some of y'all are watching this video right now, went through this very thing. Equals weaker boys often. Less daddy often equals lost girls. It's a lot of y'all, a lot of young ladies, a lot of older women that are watching this video. Growing up, you went through some adversity and some bullshit that you know you wouldn't have had to deal with. Should, should you have had a, uh, a male figure that was in your ear to give you the game before the game tried to swallow you? Number six, again, less daddy equals harder working mom. That equals stress. That's, un that's gonna also equal less supervision. Again, just going back to weaker boys and lost girls. Pops is not there to correct shit because the system is not set up in his favor. And in my opinion, when I get to the end of this, you'll see the system really not set up in the family favor, period. And also resentment. When mom has to work harder, when mom is feeling like she gotta carry the load, but she but she she often doesn't think about that. The system created it so by default, she has to carry the load. Again, remember the mother is the base. If you destroy the mother, everything gonna fall. But again, um, that can create stress, separation, and resentment, right? So number seven, how do you oppress the family in that man? You do it with division. Just going back to what we said here. So check this out. The way child support is set up, if he can't pay, you're going to get a pissed mom and you're going to get a dad that's in legal trouble. Uh, if you guys know anything about the system, you know that could come to garnishing your wages, jail time, suspending your license, whatever the case is. That's also going to result in more division because mom is pissed because she is not getting from dad what the system told her she deserves for the children. Let's go to the next example. If he can pay, this still creates division. Because what happens at that point is mom may want to increase. So now you got a pissed dad who feeling like he's getting robbed, but mom is getting overcompensated for something that she truly doesn't deserve. And guess what? In this great nation that we live in, and this bullshit system that we love to rely on, even when you pay, you know, a lot of y'all know, you still don't get to see your child. That has nothing to do with that. So, in a lot of uh, states, that's a whole nother courtroom you got to walk into to fight for your custody. They just want their money, right? So check this out. Let's swing over here to the end result. And again, this whole thing, like, you guys know in-home banking is about assessing the system, figuring out how to emulate the system, but doing it with integrity and trying to keep everybody in the best position. I've been telling you guys for the longest, we don't need them, they need us. This shit was never created with us in mind. End result, right? The system going to eat regardless. So whether your daddy can pay or not, 
They gonna get the money from him when he gotta get a new license. They gonna get the money from him when he gotta bond out of jail. Y'all know it costs to go to jail now, so he gonna have a jail bill. Uh, whether they gotta garnish the wages, they gonna get their money. Say daddy can pay. When that money slides through them, they gonna get their cut there as well. So again, and guess what? The family is still divided. So I wanted to show you guys this example. And I keep telling you guys, in-home banking is not just about money. One more time, in-home banking is about assessing the system that you guys solely rely on. Just going back to number one, dependency. Rather than uh, communicate, rather than have a healthy respect level, motherfuckers will run to the very same people who put these plays in motion to destroy you. No system, in my personal opinion, again, the mother is the base. This system is set up for the mother to both mentally, physically, and financially struggle. And if she isn't struggling, or, or even if she is, they're going to attack your father anyway. Simple division. Family still divided. They're going to get money regardless. And again, end result, we mess around. We have weaker boys and lost girls. If you haven't joined the course yet, be sure to click the link in the bio and join the course. Again, assess the systems that feed upon you. Figure out how to replace them. We don't need them. They need us. You really, like, you really don't need their help to beef with your baby daddy or beef with your baby mama and lose some money. You could do that shit on your own. You really don't need a third party to rob him for you, and then you still feel robbed or your child feel robbed because they don't get to see their daddy like they want to. See y'all in class.